Hello everyone! Welcome back to Risk of Ring 2 with your host Alfred Monty. Let's go ahead and continue on going through all the survivors. Now we're gonna be playing Bandits. My favorite shotgunning survivor. Well, I think my second favorite. But we'll get to him in a long while. So I have his secondary primary, but I am missing some unlocks for him. I don't think I'll be able to get them today, but you know what? We can sure give it a try. You know what? I think I'll do the default bandit skin for him. And again, we'll be playing on Monsoon. Let's go! Oh, there's a chest right next to me. Neat. Alright. So, Bandit has the very neat ability to uh, turn invisible, one thing, or I guess you could call it camouflage. He has a reload mechanic. And... Yeah, you can turn invisible, it gets increased movement speed, it does AoE damage as well as stuns. He does a lot of damage early game. And his R, which I believe is called Lights Out has the ability to reset cooldowns if it kills. And that means I cannot miss with it. Oh, crowbar does help with that little objective. Give it one more time. Dang. Sorry. Portal might be helpful. He also has all dagger attack, which inflicts the hemorrhage debuff. We'll pull your armor plating. I'll be very relevant later on. Missing point blank. Heck yeah. Alright. I'll chest you. Harvester Scythe. It's been forever since I've seen ya. Alright. So, Harvester Scythe goes very well with Bandit simply because uh, he auto crits on back attacks. See how much healing I'm getting? Pretty good about this run. I have my crowbar, which makes lights out a lot more potent. What's up, there again?
I want to try the Ant Shrine. That was so worth it. That was a fantastic gamble. Don't I never pay for the blue portal? I know it. That's fine. What's up is not paying enough attention. Alright. Also, another game I was thinking about trying out with you guys is Lethal Company. Good game, heard it was very good. Be too bad because I all crit on backstabs. Good guys. Take a energy drink. Oh, I like how the tri-tip dagger looks like a bayonet on my shotgun. Mm. More horn. Does not get me that excited. Gambling does though. Another harvester safe? I feel like I'm just rigging right now. What the heck? Okay. two chests here. Just start this right now. Like that's always so satisfying. The bandit when he came out, a lot of people loved him. Well, 
call it there. Let's see if I can get the banana accumulator. If we got the correct map. You do not. That's alright. Okay. I think I got got by some environmental hazard. Gasoline. <laughs> Attack speed. The uh, watch is probably overall better, but I don't trust myself to not lose the HP on Bandit. Razor wire, oh, I love razor wire. This chest, the one I plan on getting. Okay.
Where was oh top part is over there? Let's save those. Oh the equipment! I forgot. Now what's the gasoline? That ukulele is doing a lot of work, I feel. And I would not complain about more lens maker. That much money? How much money was that? 28. Go with that. Where am I right now? Blue portal seems worth it to me. And since I have three, forgive me please? Yeah. With the gasoline? Probably would. Forgive me, please. Left and easy.
Something notable up here, really. So I feel like I am healing a ton. I would like the emergency drone. I don't really know what the emergency drones do actually. drone parts? That feels really good to me. Even got a few drones, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm pretty happy. Effective cooldown is 32.5 seconds for that. And head stompers. And a whole roll once. And then we'll roll one more. Nah. 
And then I think we're actually gonna do something different this run. We're gonna try and fight the final boss. So we're gonna try and rush the teleporter right here. Buy all the drones we can find. And I'm gonna stick with Forgive Me Please. a big difference. Thank you. 
We're gonna hit here. So this will be the first time we end up fighting Mithrix, so that will be exciting. Commencement? Commencement! I want this to get to be as easy as possible. So if you hear me hitting spam, that's why I took advantage of my quail. Drones will take a little bit of time to get here, but I'm thinking it should be all right. to do the pillars in order to actually get up to it. Two pillars over here, I believe we need to clear out four.
So this is like a little mini teleporter. Looks like. So hopefully all four are like this, but we'll have to see. Like my last Sears on my hat. That's interesting. I'd be wearing it. That's all right. Yeah, it's too cool to be wearing his glasses. One way down there. We cut our way over. There was a little bit of a faster way to get to the top, but it is what it is. I'm playing it. Yes, Dios, Luca Hannes. It's like a jump rope thing, okay. One more. Looks like it's just on the other side. Health one. Hopefully, that one will be easy enough. Hope. Yeah. 
Unless it, that sword looks really sick. There we go. Really hope my drones know how to get up here. Metrics. Phase one's done. Phase two. Focus the aerial boys. Ooh. time though. So I think I'm still gonna post this video. Just as I don't just post my uh, victories. The losses are just as important. You do learn a lot from them. I should have 
been more conservative with my ear time, should have used my popo feather a little bit better, as well as my shift invisibility jump. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you really did like this video, please comment down below and hit the like button. And if you like what you're seeing on the channel so far, please subscribe and hit the bell for all things Alfred Monty. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.